हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल साइंटिफिक फेनोमेनल फैक्ट्स आज का मेरा टॉपिक है मेटल्स नॉन मेटल्स एंड मेटलोइड्स जिसको हम लोग सेमी मेटल्स भी बोल सकते हैं तो सभी जो मेटल्स नॉन मेटल्स होता है या मेटलोइड्स भी बोल सकते हैं हम लोग ये सभी एलिमेंट्स है तो एलिमेंट्स क्या है एलिमेंट्स सिग्निफाइज द एटम हैविंग न्यूक्लियस प्रोटॉन्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड न्यूट्रॉन्स तो चलिए आज का रिसेंट टाइम में हमें कितना एलिमेंट्स मिल चुका है तो देखते हैं टोटल एलिमेंट्स 118, ओके और इस 118 में से नाइन्टी टू होता है नेचुरल एलिमेंट्स और ट्वेंटी फोर होता है सिंथेटिक या आर्टिफिशियल आर्टिफिशियल एलिमेंट तो दोनों मिला के हमें मिलता है वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन तो बाकी टू का क्या माजरा है तो इसमें से दो एलिमेंट जो एक्सेप्शनल है जैसे के टेक्नेटियम इसका एटॉमिक नंबर है 43 और दूसरा है प्रोमेथियम इसका एटॉमिक नंबर है 61। तो अभी इन दोनों को इंक्लूड करने से हमें मिलता है 94 नेचुरल एलिमेंट्स और 24 आर्टिफिशियल जो सिंथेटिक है हेयर यू सी एमोंग दिस 92 नेचुरल एलिमेंट्स सेवेंटी आर मेटल्स एयर ट्वेंटी टू आर नॉन मेटल्स Among these twenty-two non-metals, eleven exist in gaseous form. One exists in liquid form. And ten exist in solid form. नाउ सी सभी जो नेचुरल एलिमेंट्स होता है इसका वजूद कैसे हुआ है इसका वजूद कॉस्मिक फेनोमेन द्वारा हो चुका है वॉट आर दोज कॉस्मिक फेनोमेन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल Big Bang. When Big Bang occurs, at the time it releases some of the energies by virtue of which there is a formation of various elements. Now let us see. Due to Big Bang, second one is supernova tragedies. Here, supernova tragedies is what 
Here the stars when they supposed to die, at a time it releases huge amount of energy by means of explosion we can think, while it goes to convert into black hole. And the third one is alpha, beta and gamma radiation. All these three cosmic phenomena, it leads the existence of the natural elements. Now what's about these artificial elements? How they exist? Actually, these artificial or synthetic elements, these are man-made. It has been discovered or it can be, it was prepared in the laboratory. Here, during formation of artificial elements or synthetic elements, there was an impartment of about 15% of natural chemical elements. And dark matters are also associated with that. Here in total we got ninety-three metals as a whole. Seventeen non metals and eight metalloids. Those are antimony, germanium, silicon, arsenic. Tellurium, Polonium, Boron, and Estatine. These are the semi metals or metalloids. Now, let you see what are metalloids. Metalloids are those elements that exhibit both the properties of metals and non-metals. Among these 93 metals, 70 are natural, 23 are artificial, and for non-metals, 22 we got as a whole non metal but here these five are metalloids here we have learned about the elements how many are naturally occurred and how many are artificially occurred and about metals non metals and semi metals now here you see what are metals metals are those elements which are capable of donating electrons and non-metals are those elements which are capable of accepting electrons. And already I have defined about metalloids or we can say semi-metals. Now let you see what happens when metal reacts with non-metals or metals or when non-metals react with other substances, what happens? Let me make you clear. When metal reacts with oxygen, it produces metal oxide. And when metal reacts with water, at the time also it produces metal oxide or you can say metal hydroxide with the evolution of hydrogen gas. 
and when metal oxide reacts with water at the time it produces the same metal hydroxide or we can say metal oxide when metal oxide reacts with water it produces base when metal reacts with acid it produces salt with the evolution of hydrogen gas along with heat energy metals generally do not react with the base except the strong bases like sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide if they used to react it produces complex compound here for non metals non metals generally do not react with oxygen if it reacts with oxygen it forms non metal oxide non metal reacts with water forms acid and non metals generally do not react with neither with acid or with base we have learned little bit if you would like to learn something about the physical and chemical properties of metals and non-metals, then keep watching my channel. Thank you.